Welcome to this week's Ghost Detectives. I'm Detective Vincent, and this week we go to Scranton's Trolley Museum. <laughs> Seems some of them passengers got on those trolleys, but never reached their stop. Oh, we've heard all kinds of stories. Stories of voices, stories of strange shadows when no one's around, and even the death of a lady on one of the trolleys that's on site. But wait, it gets even better. Tonight, Ghost Detectives has been granted special access to a part of the building where nobody's been allowed. So stay tuned to this week's Ghost Detectives. nobody in the building at the time. In this corner we have two mannequins of uh, minors and uh, previously we had uh, a couple uh, groups come in and uh, for some reason on their instruments they had some strong readings that indicated uh, that there was uh, spirits in this corner. Yeah, I think they're en route to their destination. Um, 
um, yeah, and I just got an orb that flew this way, went up, went this way, went back up, went this way, and then back off. That's a lot of movement there, Dave. Um, that's no, I'm crazy. serious. How did you remember all that? There's no bugs in here. Are you sure? Yeah, that doesn't catch dust. There's no bugs in here. They never catch dust. I mean, anything you can do to make your presence known to us will be very appreciative of it. I understand this used to be in Philadelphia, this trolley car. Come on. Walk. Walk by us. Do something. steering wheel. Can you do that again for us, please? The woman who rode the trolley that passed away in here, are you here with us tonight? If you are, we'd love to hear from you. What I have here is a recording device that may allow me to hear you. If there's a message that you'd like for me to carry on for you, all you have to do is talk into the orange light. Just say something to me. Anything. If you're the woman that passed away on this trolley car, just say something to me. I just want to hear from you. If we do that, we'll leave you alone, I swear to you. No teasing us, no hiding. Just come on over. I'm not gonna harm you. You'll probably scare me more than I'll scare you. Walk by us. Do something. The Cause it says Peter. Yeah, it says Peter. All three of us are here. I've never been down there. I used to do that. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, We're not here to hurt you or cause you any harm. We just try to try to understand why you're down here. Down here with us, could you make a noise? What was that? I said quit. I said quit? What did it say? Quit. Quit? Are you kidding me? Please? Did it say my name? Oh, maybe. Are you freaking kidding?
That's great. That's wonderful. We can hear you. Do me a favor. I want you to make a loud noise, as loud as you can. Did you just say yell? Yes. What did it say? When you said make a noise as long as you could, it said yell. It said yell? Yell. No, Tell me your name. and it's got a vocabulary that can go up and talk. I'm going to understand what you're trying to say. You did it before. Can you say something again? You know what? It seemed like... You tell me, Bobby, but when, when we were over here, when I was over there, so we were getting response. Over there, maybe. Quit. It said quit again. Quit again? Yeah, it doesn't smell that great down here either. No, I know, right? That's How long have you been down here? You guys gotta coach me along with this, alright? Not my feet, is it? My feet are completely still. It's not mine, is it? Listen. It could, it could be. If your feet are moving around, that could make that. No, they didn't move. I mean. But shuffling, I guess. Is that you making the shuffling sound? Or are you moving around? Are you down here with somebody? Did you used to work here? Do you want to be friends? Is that what you're trying to say? Wow, I just felt something touch my neck. What did you say? Dude, I don't think you're gonna have any bugs down here. It's 40 degrees. I kid you not. Just yeah. Touched the left part of the back of my neck. That's 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 cool, bro. Dude, take a temperature by my side. It's 43 degrees. 43. Yep. Bro, stop touching the back of my neck. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is freaking insane. This yeah. thing is all over the place down here. It's kind of creepy. What the hell was that? The spine chilling conclusion to ghost detectives. Because it says Peter. Yeah, it says Peter. I just want to reiterate that we are the first group to ever be allowed to investigate this cellar area. Yeah, it feels tight, you're right. Oh, man. My ankle feels tight for six hundred. Is it too tight down here for you? What did it say? Right. It said right. right. That's right, that's right. My right leg feels tight. Friends? Is that what you were trying to say earlier? Boy. What about 
want the light. Do you want a light on? A small light? What about the light? Say something to me. If you go up and walk up to Mike, like I said, he can hear you. This is our way of communicating. <laughs> what the hell was that? Something like this. That's freaking awesome, man. I want to see the lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here. It's running. What about stairs? Oh, oh stairs! Oh, oh, <laughs> did you hear it rolling? I heard it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Upstairs. I had it. Said, well, maybe Robert and Pete worked here. And at one point, this was Williams's bakery, and my uncle worked for Williams's bakery, and his name was Pete. Really? <laughs> it said that. Pete. Did it say Pete? Did it say Pete or Peter? Pete. Pete. Are you kidding me? Because it says Peter. Yeah, it says Peter. Yeah, it says Peter. <laughs> Pete. Pete. Wow. All three of us heard it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just a minute ago. It's funny, like when you guys were. Investigating, I was in here alone, and the thing was going off once, once in a while. Yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't catch what I was saying. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. yeah, sometimes it was every time you move, <coughs> you move, it would say something. You know, when I was in here in my office, and uh, of course, you know, the, the clothing rubbing against your neck, you just couldn't get a clear. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Sometimes you're right next to it, yeah. and you just can't make out uh, quite what it's saying. Thing, you know. The, the thing that we rely on with that is we normally have a digital recorder by it, so we play it back over and over. And we could determine oh, yeah. what it's saying. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. But just it comes. It goes as fast as it comes. It's like yeah. if it's one syllable, forget it. You're guessing. You probably have five different things that could mm -hmm. be. Right. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It just said Pete. <laughs> yeah. I said Robert, and then something almost like Robert. Yeah, well, first, first, uh, first uh, we were Robert, walking, I heard it sound like <clears throat> Robert, the first name. Right. Is your name Robert? I won't say anything but to bed now. We'd like to know if there's anybody here with us. We're not here to hurt you or harm you in any way. we just like to communicate with you. Several things you can do. One is uh, tap near the box that's up front down by us, um, make those lights light up on it. Um, there's a device on the floor in the back, make that light up, there's a series of lights on it, the closer you get to that, there's a box right next to it here, it's in red. Is there anybody by the name of Grace here with us? Same name it gave us downstairs. Yeah, that, is this your property? If 
that was you, could you touch my hair again, please? down here Steven see this is what I was trying to ask before this is the window Let's see what we got for next week.